uh, TR Rehab. Just kind of introducing you all to my uh, new hobby that I have here. Besides my little sports cars that I like tinkering with, I find myself back to the gardening thing. 2020, we started late on everything. Of course, that was due to the uh, COVID crisis. Maybe June, July, we decided to put something in the ground. Uh, started off with some tomatoes, three plants. Then we went to some string beans that did very well. We had plenty of cucumbers. Uh, what I did learn about the cucumbers is worms love them just as much as we do. For every 10 that I pick, I probably was able to keep three. But this year, we're better prepared for that because uh, the experience was uh, worth every bit of it. Uh, these were the first two beds that, that we did. I planted these late also. Everything I did last year was just late. But a lot of people told me that doing winter uh, greens wouldn't work. Well, my buddy Mike Reynolds told me something a little different, so I decided to try it. And this is what I have now. And this is January 2nd, 2021. These have been covered up for probably the last two weeks or so because we had some really hard cold, got down to 20 degrees. But look at these babies. Talk about proud. Now what I am gonna do, uh, maybe let these get up to about six to eight inches, and then I'll thin them out. Hopefully I can get uh, maybe 12 in this bed here. This bed here was my wife's idea. Not really what I wanted to do, but you know how it is when the wife says this is what she wants. She don't really care what you think about it. She just wanted to do it. I'm glad she did that because as with pretty much everything that I do, it's a trial and error thing. Look at what we have here. Look at those little babies. This is a winter crop. Best thing that I'm told you can grow in the winter time, spinach. Look at them babies. But at last count, I think I had close to 60 plants. I'm gonna thin those out when they get probably about six inches high, or maybe just let them stay where they are. It's my first time ever doing this. I used to watch my grandfather do it when we were growing up, so in theory, I've seen it done before. Didn't really know what he was doing, but um, sometimes just putting your eye on something and watching it, and then later on in life, it tends to come back around. My broccoli here, I just let them stay out. Now, I did have to go and pluck a few leaves off because that cold did a little damage to them. Now, this is my first year, and all of these were grown from seeds. This one, I don't know, this must be a, a child of another mother because I think it has, uh, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Like I said, I did have to uh, take a couple of leaves off because the coal did a little damage to them, but for the most part, they made it. I may cover these up the next time we get down into the 20s because uh, I thought they could handle it. And this is some spearmint. I got a bucket of that. And these two here is where I grew my tomatoes last year. This raised bed here was the last one that I did. Basically some roof tin, put me a little bevel on it. And then a little light stain, beds aligned with some plastic. so. The soil is actually not touching the uh, metal. This is absolutely my favorite. This is what I want my entire garden to look like. Because when the springtime hits, all of this is green back here. But uh, I want this thing to look really pretty. I dedicate this to my wife because had she not gone out and actually bought the material, I would have never started this. This is something that we talked about for years, uh, but we never got to it. Uh, she went up to Lowe's or Home Depot and came back with some wood and some bricks and said, come and do the garden. And I just thank you for uh, tuning in and watching me as I grow because uh, not only am I growing plants, but I'm hopefully growing in spirit, growing in knowledge and growing healthy. That's what this is all about. Give a man a fish, he could feed his family for a day. Teach a man to fish, he could feed his family for a lifetime. TR Rehab.